Does biamping change speaker impedance? This question comes from John in Del Rio, Texas, and he writes, Senor Paul, <laughs> what is the impedance load to a receiver if you are biamping them? If, for example, the spec rated impedance of a biampable speaker is, let's say, 8 ohms, assuming with the jumper attached, the jumper between the two terminals for you know, the upper and the lower when we biamp, um, wouldn't that mean that it's wired in parallel for that 8 ohm load? That if you remove the jumper so you could biamp them, does that mean the receiver is really seeing 16 ohms each to the bottoms and to the uppers? And if that's the case, then an even more powerful amplifier will be needed, right? Uh, no, wrong. So, no worries. The speaker itself, let's, let's take a speaker that have, and, and let, let's go through, because some people don't know what biamping is. Uh, increasingly, you don't see this very much, but for, for a long time, speakers were biampable, meaning they had two sets of binding posts. One set fed the tweeter, the other set fed the woofer. And, and if it's a three-way, yeah, but we're not going to get into that. So one set upper, one set lower. And now there's jumpers between them, usually like um, fancy gold bars that connect those up so that when you just, if you don't choose to use that, you feed both the tweeter and the woofer at the same time. That's a 8 ohm load. Now, if you disconnect those jumpers and you feed just the tweeter, well, that tweeter is still 8 ohms. It was 8 ohms to start with, it's 8 ohms now. Ain't nothing changed. The woofer, still 8 ohms. What'll be different is that for, from the amplifier's perspective, when you, if you just took the amp, your receiver, and you connected up just the tweeter, then at high frequencies, where the tweeter is operating, you would see an 8 ohm load. At base frequencies, you would see a very high impedance load because you're not drawing any current because it's not producing any base. So the impedance curve would go very high where the tweeter isn't working and down to 8 ohms when it is working. And the same with the woofer. At tweeter frequencies, the woofer would have very high impedance because you're not drawing any current. So remember, current or power is a measure of, of how much signal from the amplifier is actually being used to convert electricity into sound. If it's not being used to convert that, the impedance goes up. So what an 8 ohm speaker is, we're saying that when you are drawing current, power from the amplifier at a specific frequency and that is being used, that energy is being used to generate sound in the room, we will say that that is an 8 ohm load or a 4 ohm load. And we can use Ohm's law to calculate, you know, what in 8 ohms, if you have that much voltage, here's how much current, thus you know, how much wattage. Amps times volts equals watts, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know all that. So, now, it's always going to be the same impedance just with the caveats that I explained by dividing the frequency up. Hope that, hope that wasn't too complicated and, and makes sense and, and helps you out. Okay, take it easy. Talk to you tomorrow.